Yes, I'd be I'd be glad to discuss some of the common strategies that that are uh, employed to reduce uh, risk exposure and um, enhance resilience among pastoralists. Um, the first one, which is which is um, very important and it's it's kind of a no-brainer, is 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 the strategy of mobility. And as I mentioned earlier, it's the mobility of animals, being able to move animals uh, in these highly heterogeneous, um, patchy ecosystems um, to areas, um, especially during drought, where there's vegetation in water. Um, a second strategy uh, is uh, herd accumulation and herd diversification. And I'll start with the second part, herd diversification as a, you know, uh, Herders increasingly um, are diversifying their, their herd capital in keeping more drought resistant uh, animals such as goats and camels as a strategy to deal with, with um, issues of climate variability, climate change. Um, herd accumulation uh, is, is an important strategy they pursue because of the fact that in many cases the more animals that you can accumulate um, affects uh, before drought will affect what your post drought uh, herd size will be. Um, but clearly the herd diversification is a trend that we've seen and we've seen increasing um, uh, keeping of drought resistant, drought, dr more drought resistant species of camels and goats in herds. A third common strategy is, is sort of customary social insurance and social networks. We're helping um, neighbors through lending those who have lost animals during a drought or, or other shock um, by loaning animals and, and loaning milk animals to, to women and, and so on. These kind of networks are, are very important. Um, they are not as important as they were even 15, 20 years ago. They still exist. They're important. but. Um, but they, um, they are not sufficient for recovering from drought, um, we're seeing. Um, another, a fourth common uh, strategy is um, uh, economic diversification and asset diversification. Um, pursuing non-farm employment off of, uh, away from the herd is one strategy. Pursuing petty trading activities, waged employment, and incorporating cropping, uh, cultivation, agriculture, when, when they can do so, are, are also important diversification strategies. Uh, asset diversification beyond the animals themselves, um, herders are, are diversifying in terms of um, purchasing rental properties, shops in towns, and things like that. Anything that will allow them to uh, enhance their, their ability to, to uh, withstand droughts without major, um, major drops in their, in their welfare. Um, another common strategy, as I, say, uh, as I mentioned in the lecture, was marketing. Um, the ability to sell off animals um, before disaster, to use the market to recover, um, to purchase animals in recovery, um, is, is another common strategy and an increasingly important strategy that they use um, to cope with these uh, risks. Uh, investment in education is again an increasingly common strategy. In, in my 30 years of work in this area, I would say the demand for education in these pastoral areas in the last 10 years has been really one of the most significant changes I've seen.